My friend Abner is an academic fish biologist who grew up in a Philippine fishing village. He has unique knowledge about the venomous fishes of the Philippines. Okay, so we, we have a rabbit fish here under the microscope and um, we um, this is another fish which will uh, mess you up when it stings you. So one, one, one friend of ours and colleague, eminent fish biologist, uh, Kent Carpenter, got stung recently, correct? That's yes. the story you were telling me? We, while we were in Bohol, yeah. we were sorting this huge bag of fish with lots of rabbit fish in it. And so we were trying to just accumulate which ones is Sicanospinus, which ones another species. And by accident, his right thumb was stung by one of those huge rabbit fish, maybe about 20 plus centimeters. And of course, the spine uh, reached maybe the middle layer of his right thumb. And so in our boat, there were blood everywhere in our <laughs> deck and so I just advise him directly that uh, we should we need right away to have hot water and soak the entire thumb in hot water and I hope that helped alleviate the, the pain although he said for hours that his right thumb was still Terribly painful. Uh, painful and numb. Although I would say the pain that you experience with the sting of rabbit fish is, I would say, maybe just a, a quarter compared to how painful it is to be stung by the, the catfish. The ah, catfish, okay, the okay. Catfish. So if I'm going to rank all the pains you know uh, in terms of rank from 1 to 10 I would say uh, Plotosus lineatus or the striped eel catfish would be maybe 9 or 10 while rabbit fish would be just you know uh, 2 to 3 wow wow what about lionfish lion on that scale lionfish would be under the magnet maybe around 5 to 7 Wow, so, so the catfish and ranks above the lionfish. Yeah, I can I can compare all of these pains with all my experiences, you know, as a, as a fisherman in our village. And I was told also that <coughs> the, the sting of the stonefish, called what we call the gatasan, uh, some fishermen would claim that it's even more painful than the catfish. Yeah. So maybe off the scale, I would say for stonefish. So, so you know, we we will have to. The scale is like open to upwards. So, if the catfish is nine, nine would the stonefish be minimum would be uh, nine point five. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of us, if you ask any fisherman, yeah, anywhere in the Philippines, they would probably agree to our. Uh, experience or assumptions that stonefishes are really dangerous fish. Uh, okay, fish. okay, so in the case of the stonefish, <laughs> these are essentially lie in wait predators, correct? Yes, but they also develop that because they're also prey items to uh, other predators. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, aside from, from the sting, they also have this capability of camouflaging themselves in the coral reefs. You know, yeah, sand. yeah, yeah. So, but I would say maybe a local fishermen uh, kind of call them gatasan in reference to uh, some species of stonefishes that are whitish in appearance or maybe just ah, camouflaging okay. in sand. Yeah. And as much as possible, you know, you can you can be excused of being uh, in envenomated by rabbit fish or catfish, 
but as a fisherman it's a must to do it's necessary that you avoid your avoid uh, in all cases avoid the stonefish yeah so That's so the so the, the uh, rabbit fish and the catfish would be actively swimming and you probably notice them correct whereas the stonefish looks like a stone right and you 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 could accidentally step on it yes uh, most likely that's the <coughs> that's the problem and they kind of camouflage very very well in those coral reefs but uh, yeah that's our forefathers would say you know our grandparents uncles would say if you happen to catch or encounter stonefish just you know don't ever don't you dare uh, try touching any of those yeah so so what uh, would be the first aid here also hot compressors right um, similar to other venomous uh, marine fishes yeah soaking the wound in hot water is the primary first aid and of course uh, as much as possible try to bring the patient to the nearest hospital yeah because of some kind of anaphylactic shock yeah that the immune system essentially would go haywire you know, and give them the injection of this harmful alien protein correct yeah correct yeah. and uh, physicians might might uh, give you uh, pain relievers yeah and in some extreme cases um, maybe uh, morphine or yeah, any yeah. other medication. So, so, so do you know somebody in, actually in Sikihu who got stung by a stonefish? Well, not directly but I was told when I was young that there was this guy from the mountain who was not so acquainted with uh, stone fishes and Tagapukit Tagapukit yes <laughs> unfortunately and he went to our barangay to fish and the barangay is, is like, a like a village, village yeah. yeah for our international viewers and, <coughs> and he he caught one stonefish in a fish trap and and un unfortunately by accident he because he, he never knew that much because he's from another village mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so he was in terrible and ag agonizing near-death experience yeah and, and again off, off to the shaman off to the shaman right well I was told during the time that before he went to the shaman uh, he was like you know the crocodiles on a death row yeah, That's yeah, what yeah he was acting on a sandy beach in our barangay. So, so so he was in such was agonizing pain that he was like rolling around painful. like like a crocodile which had just like <laughs> caught a you know whatever yeah, like yeah. a water buffalo yeah it was ah. like yeah you can describe it as the most intense pain perhaps in his whole entire life uh, that sounds horrible <laughs> that's horrible that's how uh, my uncles described this scenario yeah. during the time but 